It took more than a decade, but a Muskegon man backed behind the wheel of his classic Model T after Mother Nature tried to take it out. Here's a show LaFergie has his story. Just to show you how tough these Model T's were built, many of them, like this one, had a second life as a hot rod. These are highly desirable to find and fix up. The 1927 Model T has been a labor of love for Steve Anderson since he found it languishing away in 2010. I bought it not running and not moving. Mm -hmm. The brake fluid in the car looked like wax. It sat so many years. Even with decades of experience in auto body repair, the car was a challenge for Anderson. But there was something about the old Tin Lizzie that tugged at his heart. I've been working on old cars since I was 15. Yeah. I just fell in love with it. About a year later, Anderson had driven the Model T to a family gathering. He came home and parked it in the driveway. Straight winds come through the next morning, wiped it out. Yeah. Neighbor's tree fell out right across it. The classic car was down, but not out. Call it a miracle resurrection. Call it good, solid Ford built springs. But the old Model T seemed to be sending Anderson a message. The tree guy who's got the tree all out of it and stuff, it kind of like rose up a bit, mm. like it got up on his knees. And I could look at it and I walked around and looked at it and I, just, I can fix this. <laughs> it took 11 years and countless phone calls with other Model T and street rod enthusiasts looking for parts and how to information. <laughs> Along the way, Anderson's passion for the old buggy grew. The body is the only thing original on the classic turn street rod, but what a body. But the, the, the metal part is so strong. When that thing went through there, this post didn't budge. Yeah. That kind of force and that punch didn't budge. And these posts up here didn't budge. You know how they, I've seen it before where they put bridges together with them hot rivets mm -hmm. and pound them in? Mm -hmm. That's what holds this car together. It's amazing. And there's tons of them in it. And now the classic is back in action for what could be called its third life. Next stop, Florida, where Steve is retiring to, and the Model T is going along for the ride. In Muskegon, Joe Lafergie, News 8.